What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog back with another review. This time it's on the Transformers The Last Night All Spark Tech Starter Pack Optimus Prime. And as you can see, you got the cube displayed here with the USB cord. Shows a little bit of art of Optimus Prime holding the All Spark. And uh, we got Optimus Prime placed here. So a little kind of demo of how the cube places in his chest and how it works. Comes with a 150 milliliter AH non-replaceable rechargeable LiPo battery. It's a lithium battery. Uh, ages six and up. Transformers. Checking out the side, you got a bigger picture of the art there. Optimus holding the Allspark Tech Cube. The back shows a picture of Optimus and it's five step transformation, or it shows that it's five steps. Shows a picture of Optimus with the chest dropped cube entered, and one of his phrases, Allspark Tech Cube. And then on the side, we have a couple cross cells. We have Bumblebee and Barricade. So, without further ado, let's get right into the review. All right, so here he is out of the packaging. What you get is you get a instruction manual, like this, All Star Starter Pack. You can open it up, it shows the transformation, which is really easy for us adults. And uh, shows you a little bit of how to recharge and how to use the cube. So straight out of the box, you get Optimus. He looks pretty cool when you get the AllSpark Tech Cube, so we'll check that out. It's got some kind of cool details here. Now these are pretty involved. This is a lithium battery in it. That's something uh, pretty... I guess it's pretty expensive to make, I'm, I'm guessing. It comes with a USB cord as well, and you can uh, plug it into the... How does this work? You plug it in right like this, in that bottom part, and then you just plug it into your regular USB, um, USB cable. All right, so to check them out, we'll check out Optimus first. Let's get a nice little kind of view on him. All right, so. There he is. So I'm just doing a couple of like quicker, easier stuff to kind of uh, um, film at first, just to kind of get used to the camera, and then we'll start, we'll get into the masterpiece type stuff. That's what I got this for, so I can actually like go up and down now, and uh, I'll have new lighting later on today. But uh, just looking at Optimus himself, he's pretty cool. There we go. He's got a turnable head. It's ball joint, so you can look a little bit up and down. It will turn side to side, so that's cool. It's got articulated shoulders, although it does get in the way from... Oops. This kind of gets in the way, so you can kind of go back a little bit, and you can, you can get it to go up. I don't know why they didn't design anything that kind of folds this back, so that way you would have uh, fully articulated... I mean, what's the point of having ball joint shoulders if you can't really turn them? But he does have uh, ball joints here, but you have to spin the, the lower arm 90 degrees to get that. You can't just bring it up, which is another th weird decision. When they could have had it spin, it could have filled that in, had the fist upward like this. Although, I don't know. I guess this is okay. Then we have some uh, ball jointed uh, legs. He can go back, but he's got too much armor in the way to go forward, really. So you can go about 10 degrees forward. So there's a been a, I mean, it obviously wasn't the design team that, you know, is from uh, generations and whatnot. And then he's got some ankles that will go front to back, which is cool. It's cool that they give us that. But you can kind of get them spread out here like this a little bit. You can also actually fit five millimeter posts into their fist or into their hands. So, so. It kind of makes it go like this, or you have to get one of the ones that actually has the ability to go around. And you can kind of go around Optimus, but not really. I mean, yeah. So you kind of have to 
work with it. But you can get him to do, you can get it to hold it regardless. So I just wanted to show that off. And there you go. I do dig uh, the head sculpt and they did give it nice and flat so you can you know definitely add the flames on if you get some kind of sticker or detailing. Looking from the back, that's the back view. And then to transform him, well actually first we're going to do the cube. So the cube you just take it like this and you want to line up that with this and you flip down the chest right from here. You can see that so what you want to do is you want to line it up. It's on a little bit of an angle. Going like this. There you go. You can close that. Then you're supposed to be able to kind of mess with him. Bounce him around, he makes noises. He has different points in his body where he can make the noises. I'm still kind of learning him as it is. But you know, it's cool that you can kind of I might try to customize some of these legs to get it more motion, but we'll see. <laughs> you, my friend, you, Optimus, my hero. Bring it on! <laughs> oh, you want to fight? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he, and he kind of recognizes when he's being transformed. So let me show you that. So when you transform him, he's, and what's great is he has uh, Peter Cullen's voice, as you can tell. So you just want to line these up. Yep, he knows you're going to transform. And then you could just transform him, flip up the feet. And then I think when you put him down, as, you know, entirely down, he kind of knows when he's driving around. Which is really cool. And that's what he looks like from, you know, down point. So let's check that out. So, pretty cool. He's got a little bit of that flame going on. He looks a little bit like the Night Optimus. Not bad, not bad. He's got the fuel tanks on the side. And his feet are just kind of hanging out up there. So, but he... Oop. I think he knew I was going to transform. Because I was... A so, we'll take the feet down. He might already recognize that he's transforming, but um, give me one second. Let's set that up a little bit. There we go. And there you go. Autobots, transform and roll out. <laughs> and he has a couple other phrases, so let's see what else he can say. Get the transforming noise. Kind of opening lasers, some knife, sword fighting noise. Checking him out next to an activator. So he's about the size of an activator. And we'll just check out what... Very cool, he says. We'll just check out what size that is. So he's about six inches tall. Leader of the Autobots. And then, uh, yeah, so he's pretty cool. He's got some some red paint here, some silver paint up here, some silver here, as well as up here. He's got silver on the head. Nice painted eyes. They did a nice job on that. Wish they could do that for the... Wish they could do that for the actual... Um, Generations line, or I guess they're calling it the premiere line, but Autobots, transform and, roll out. <laughs> and uh, no knees, as far as I can tell, there's no knees, so you can see they're all there. But they, but they have he has short enough legs where it works, and he's got the rocker ankles, so it definitely works. 
You can also bring up and down her shoulders if that makes a difference to you. But I do recommend the figure. And then to charge it, you just want to pull this down. Pull. You are my friend. Disconnect the... Which can get... You have to get a good grip on it. Disconnect it makes that noise. And uh, it's pretty wonderful the way things... The Hasbro are doing things. And as I showed you, you just... You just plug that in. And then you plug that into the USB cord. And I believe it says to charge it for, um, for I think it said for two hours. Let me actually double check on that. All it did was tell me that you... <laughs> I know Optimus. All it did was tell me that when it's done charging, it will light up blue. So it doesn't actually tell you the time base. But I love these things. And, and each the cube will, will uh, have a different signature for each figure. And I'm actually looking at getting all of these. The Bumblebee, Megatron, Hound, you know, the whole nine. I would like to get them. So uh, I found mine at Kmart with the Nemesis version as well. But I didn't want the Nemesis version because it's not very accurate. And I do recommend these, especially for kids. I think kids will love them. And uh, without further ado, I guess that's the end of the review. So leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe for more toy reviews. And as always, stay awesome, stay subbed, and stay tuned for the next video. Let me know what you think on the new camera. Any feedback is good feedback. The microphone and everything like that. So uh, that's it. Peace. That's a wrap. I'm out.